Um, everybody um, that I know from even my dad was asking me about and I make a video about the beating that took place in Chicago with the four black teens beating on the the mentally uh, handicapped white guy and they put it on Facebook live I said no because I knew what this was going to become from the moment it hit and everybody I know starts sending me the clips did you see this did you see this Are you from Chicago did you see this did you see this what's wrong with Chicago Chicago crazy man what is this 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 I know you're gonna talk about it. and I wasn't because I saw it was gonna become national media attention because if this was just all black people we would have never heard anything about it. It came on the local news and disappeared and dissipated and just became another story that went on that night. But because this is a mentally handicapped white guy being attacked brutally on video by four black teenagers. Well, there it is. Anarchy. Savage. And what it is is inhumane. The lack of empathy that one person has for another. How did we get that? It's savage behavior. Savages behave like this. But they want to like project it and say, look at this behavior. Instead of looking at the problem. How could something like this happen? Why would something like this happen? And this is the results. True enough, one of them is from Carpentersville, but still, you're looking at the system of Chicago. The majority are from Chicago. What has Chicago endured? What is the main issue in Chicago? And people are going to say gun violence. That's not the main issue. You got to look at the cause of the problem instead of the results. You can't look at somebody shot up by guns and violence and just say, wow, that person shot him. You got to look at the result. I mean, we're looking at the results. We got to look at the problem. Education at an all-time low. When you come from a non-nurturing educational system, you're failing. There's no arts. There's no music taught in these classes no recreation no recreational systems or programs what you're doing is killing social communication so you have lack of education teachers school schools are overcrowded teachers are striking and you don't want to pay the teachers so you have no education you have no music or arts and craft in the schools you have no recreational systems. Next, you don't have jobs. All of these are failing structures. These are like pillars. And when all these four pillars fall down, what are you going to have? It's all going to come tumbling down. No one looks at that. And I'm not excusing what the teenagers done. But I see what they're growing up in. And this is the results of that. Do you think those four teenagers, had they had proper education? Had they had recreational centers? 
had they grew up in an area where there was jobs do you think that this would happen then this would still happen I highly doubt it the chances of this happening then would be very less than But when you grow up in these environments that are like that, it what do you expect these people to do? You want them to behave like you, who cry grew up in a nurture, nurturing educational system, who had supportive parents at home, who told you and pushed and make sure you did your homework, made sure you went to school. Make sure you got your grades right so that you can have dreams to go and accomplish things. To these people, this is this is all that they, their lives are going to be. They don't care about themselves. They have a lack of empathy for other people. They don't think they're anything. So why would they care about you? They haven't been taught the human condition. Yeah. Their education is low. But they haven't been taught common sense. Things that would normally be common sense that we pick up and develop, we learn from habits that's been taught through us, through our families, where we grow up in, the household. It helps us develop communication and problem solving skills or social issues. We know right from wrong. When you're mentally handicapped, what determines that? A test. These kids are probably just as mentally handicapped as that kid that they beat on. Their education low is probably at their educational level is probably at third grade level. We really don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes with this group. But what people need to understand, and I want everyone to listen to this video to understand whether you're white, uh, Mexican, black. Listen to this. The same way you see this and say this is an outrage, the same way we feel when we see police officers do this to an innocent man. When we see crooked police officers violate their oath to do this to an innocent man. Okay, and for you guys who've done it, to go on social media and say, oh, that's just the media. Why they want it? They're only portraying that because the cops are white and he is black. Omitting the fact of what the police officer's done is wrong and that the other person that he's beating on is innocent of any crime. So... That's what we have problems with. So if you can't take care of the root problem, you're going to have ongoing anarchy. So the same empathy you have for what you like, it should go both ways. Wrong is wrong, right is right. It shouldn't matter about what color someone is. You shouldn't have to say, where's Black Lives Matter? That's not the issue. The issue should be the problem at hand. Let's try to correct the problem. Or flash a light on. Because nine times out of ten, the people that are on social media complaining are people who don't get involved. Like I said, these same people that complain about 
how someone didn't stand up for the American flag and did this. They don't even put their flags out unless it's Memorial Day or Labor Day. If they even own a flag. They don't even know the National Anthem. They don't stand at home for the National Anthem. But they want to be patriotic when it benefits them on social media. They want to join on and, you know, and do this for the country they claim. It's hypocrisy. It's just meaning that you can be controlled as a sheep. You go along with what the masses tell you on social media or the news. Then it becomes a major issue for you. So this is my take on it. When people want to sit down and address the real issue and the real problems and plans to actually go forward to try to solve these problems, then I would understand. Then I'll be more engaging to say, okay, look, the city's trying to say they're tired of this and they want it to stop and we need to get something done. But other than that, I have not seen it. I've listed the problems in the city, the true problems in the city, because guns are not killing people. People kill people. Guns going to do what it's supposed to do. It has no empathy. It has no desire. It has no thoughts. Whoever grabs it and pulls the trigger, it's going to fire. It doesn't have any loyalty to who bought it. It's going to fire. So the guns and bullets don't kill people. It's the people behind the guns and the bullets. They're the ones who kill the people. And what could drive them to that? Those are the issues that need to be resolved. How are these people getting guns? With a gun law so strict where are these guns coming from and how are they getting them? And they seem to have no problems getting guns. I mean like real firepower. So where are they coming from? Hmm? I mean when when you get serious about wanting to Engage in shutting things down, and I understand. But until then, people got to know that you just can't dance around the problem. The Bible isn't politically correct. History isn't politically correct. So why is people want to dance on eggshells now and be politically correct when life isn't politically correct? I'm out.